Hi Capricorn, welcome to your November 2017 Astro Update. It's Raina here. Well Capricorn, I think that November is the beginning of something beautiful for you coming in the next year. And let me explain. There's a lot of energy this month in the 11th house of hopes and wishes, the luckiest house of the Zodiac in the sign of Scorpio. The 11th house is also the house of friendships, groups that you belong to, and that can be very good for networking. I always look at the 9th, 10th, and 11th houses in kind of like the subsequent fashion and they and them tying together. Like you have the 9th house, which is your higher mind. It's you, the, the philosophy that you live by. The 10th house is your career. So what you do for a living in the, the best um, possible way would be a reflection of your philosophy of life. And the 11th house is the other stuff is like your ideal life, your dream life. Where would you live? Who would you associate with? What would you do if you could do anything? So all of this combined, and uh, of course the 12th house is the dream state. It's the house of the unconscious mind, the collective unconscious, past lives, karma. So you're going to have some energy here. And actually, I think that this is like a womb of creation, because then you, you, you're ending the cycle, but it's also informing the next cycle. So let me just start at the beginning of the month. There's a full moon in Taurus on the 4th of November. And this is going to be in a fellow earth sign, Taurus, your fifth house of love, that initial stage, physical attraction, so that can sometimes lead to conception, which is uh, part of the fifth house, conceiving a child. Um, it can be children themselves. So any activities around children, as well as creativity of other kinds. And so art, if you are some sort of artist that is featured here. And when we're talking about full moons, we are talking about fertility. So definitely keep that in mind, knowing that this is the house of recreational sex and, and conception. But definitely, if you're somebody who is artistic, this could be you really birthing a new project. And even with love, this could be the apex or the realization that's another keyword of full moons is something coming to light or you're aware of it about somebody that you're in love with maybe you have been friendly with somebody and you never made the connection that it was actually love that you were feeling capricorns tend to be very pragmatic so you're not necessarily hearts and flowers unless you happen to have a moon in Libra or something like that. But you tend to um, view things from a very grounded perspective, but then even you might realize you're in love. Now, sometimes full moons can bring secrets to light and also uh, lead to endings. So there's always the possibility if you've been dating somebody and you find out that they are not who they appear to be that you will call it quits. But I tend to look at full moons in a sense of potential rather than anything ending, which to me seems like it's diminishing. So what else is happening? Well, a couple of days after that on the 7th, there are going to be two transits, Mercury into Sagittarius, which is that 12th house, that dream state, and Venus into your 11th house. And 
This is what I'm talking about with Venus in the 11th house. First off, this first week of the month could be a powerhouse for you because you have both Venus and Mars in the 10th house of career. And this is the house that you rule Capricorn. So this area is near and dear to your heart. This could mean with Venus in the 10th house that you are coming into favor with the with your superiors at work as well as with the general public, the people that see what you do in terms of your career because the 10th house is like center stage. It's, it's at the top of the chart and it's your place in the world. And Mars is there all month. So Mars is in, in Libra really kind of like getting your button gear and getting you totally ambitious and totally on point. And Venus is like raking in the dough. So, you know, Venus, wherever she travels, she can bring money with her. And this may be in the form of your career. Maybe you get a raise. I don't know. But you're going to be a busy little beaver as Mars uh, really motivates you to, to like achieve more in your career. And, um, so when Mercury goes into the 12th house on the seventh, you really are going to feel, I think, um, you, you might even have like kind of, um, memories that come out of nowhere, um, vague anxieties, that deal with issues that you may have buried very deeply. And uh, Capricorn, this is par for the course. This happens to you every year around this time. Um, you know, it, it differs from year to year, but it's going to be in that November, December period where Mercury and the sun, because the sun goes into this 12th house on the 21st. And you've had Saturn here um, you know, for, for, uh, two and a half years. And this is really, I think the toughest place for Saturn in the 12th house. So take a bow Capricorn. You did well. If you survived, uh, Saturn in the 12th house, maybe you should, uh, get a t-shirt printed up with that because, um, the 12th house can be difficult in terms of karmic, influences. Saturn is a karmic planet. So you may have felt in a lot of ways that you were hamstrung, like your hands were tied. Like every time you tried to do something, um, you were held back. If you think that that happened to you, just wait until December 20th when Saturn goes into your sign you may feel so much better. And then with all these nice influences like, um, well, specifically Jupiter in your 11th house in the sign of Scorpio, this can really expand your ability to perhaps have your dreams come true. And I always talk about that 11th house being the luckiest house in this month, there's even a new moon there, a new beginning on the 18th at 26 degrees of Scorpio. So plant seeds of intention of long range goals that you would like to achieve. And you may even want to write them down because supposedly that makes them easier to manifest. But yeah, I have, I have real good, really good feelings about this time for you because Venus going into the 11th house on the seventh can mean that it's possible that you will get money to make one of the, the dreams come true that you have wanted. It's also true that you may find love through friendships. So maybe in your circle of friends, um, somebody introduces you to a person who ends up being the love of your life. You never know. And I like the fact that Jupiter and Venus are both in that sector, 
when that new moon hits because that could be all connected. There could be a whole new set of circumstances, including love coming into your life, um, that are part of that Jupiter cycle. And then on the 22nd, Neptune turns direct in your third house of communication, siblings, and things of that nature. There may have been some unpleasant truths revealed to you in the past several months when uh, Neptune was retrograde in that house that could have um, revolved around any kind of communication. Perhaps you've had a rough go of social media and uh, maybe you discovered things online that were unpleasant and Understand that everything happens for a reason. Now that Neptune is direct, you will have a more idealistic view of things. But um, some of you may have even kind of um, lessened your your time on online because of something negative that um, happened. Or you could have found something out about siblings or a particular sibling or other family members that disillusioned you because it was, maybe you had a certain concept of them that turned out to be false and it bothered you. But um, this too shall pass. And Neptune going direct on the 22nd can settle you down to the point where you are able to dream again when it comes to issues surrounding communication, learning, and the like. Okay, Capricorn. Well, it looks like a wonderful month and um, kickoff to a great Jupiter cycle as well. And actually, Jupiter went into your 11th house in October, but, um, now Venus and, uh, then the new moon happen in that sector as well. So very nice. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise have a magical November. Bye.